Hello, I'm Chris Osmond, and this is Solutions. Enough complaining, let's fix America. Today I want to talk about the HEROES Act, which was recently passed by the House of Representatives. Um, it's an acronym, and it stands for Health and Economic Recovery Omnibus Emergency Solutions Act. In my opinion, it should be called the ZEROES Act, because yet again, this is $3 trillion that's going um, into this act to be spread among uh, the lion's share to be spread amongst rich corporations and the wealthy. As for us, we get two thousand dollars, a one-time payment, and that's another reason why I say it should be called the Zeros Act, because the things that should have been in there to really help the people of this nation are not in there. Things like a recurring payment, at least a recurring payment until the COVID-19 crisis has passed or at least people can safely get back to work where it can be managed, um, how the disease is spread or not spread. So the Zeroes Act is a much better name for it. I don't know what the acronym will be, but to me, it has a lot of zeros in it and it helps out uh, more people that uh, in zero ways than it does help out the majority. The other name that it could be called is the Dead End Act. And this is why I believe it should it could be called a dead end act because most of the money is going to wealthy corporations and wealthy people. Now, if you give that money to those people, they're the end of the line. They should be the end of the chain. So when they get that money, they don't necessarily have to spend that money. They're already rich. So that money is going to go into some vault or some offshore um, account in the Caymans where that money will sit and be hoarded by the wealthy. Now, if they were to give that money in a recurring payment to the rest of us, we would have to go out and spend that money. I just watched an article where a woman, or a, it was a video interview, where a woman was talking about she only, the fact that she only had $9 left in her bank account, or left to her name, probably not a bank account, uh, because the fees would just eat that $9 up in a matter of maybe a month or two. So, she only had $9 to her name. Someone like that would spend every penny of that $2,000 if it was recurring because she was working before COVID-19 hit. She was driving a school bus or some kind of transportation um, and making $12 an hour, which is to me slave wages but or poverty wages. Um, but she was working. She was not one of these, these layabouts that people try to say uh, fester among, in, in the United States. She was actually working and she was supporting her family. She was probably a lot into debt because there's, to me, there's, when you make such little money, there's um, very few ways to make that stretch unless you go into debt. Now, getting back to the Dead End Act. The Dead End Act gives the money to people who aren't going to spend it. So it disappears from the economy, but on its way out the door, it devalues every dollar in your pocket. The more money they print, the less value your dollars have in your bank accounts, in your pocket, in your mattress, wherever you're putting dollars. They lose value for every dollar that they print because it thins out the money supply. But, like I said, worse still is that it goes into uh, accounts that never have to be touched for these people because they already have more money than they could ever spend and it will never circulate back in the economy. Um, the velocity of money will slow down, be, or the velocity of the dollar will slow down because of that, because of that money not being in the economy. This is not a good thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet video. Uh, this is Solutions. Enough complaining. Let's fix America. Join me again tomorrow at uh, for now, I'm still doing it at 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, um, Eastern Standard Time. Also, links for my book by the same name, Solutions, Enough Complaining, Let's Fix America, will be provided below. Thank you.